With such a big series like Beyblade, there exists not just a big fan community, but many smaller sub-communities. You got the Burst community, the Metal Fight community, the Plastic Gen fans, Anime Watchers, Hasbro fans, Beyblade YouTubers, the small group of people that still remember Bay Raiders, shout out to you guys. And then there is, of course, the competitive Beyblade community. A group of people dedicate to the sport of watching plastic spinning tops hit each other. Riveting. Anyway, the competitive scene is very active, with a lot of local tournaments held all over the world, and even official ones too. It's kind of a big deal, and yet I never really got involved with it. But as the official Beyblade video maker person, I feel like it's my duty to explore and be involved in such a big part of Beyblade. So in today's video, I am going to the first ever 2v2 Beyblade tournament. Twice the Beyblades, twice the fun, and if you want to see more videos like this, leave a like and subscribe, and maybe I'll make more tournament videos, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So going into this tournament, I knew I had to pull out all the stops. Like I mentioned, it's been a very long time since I've competed in a competitive tournament, so who knows what crazy combos and strategies people could have come up with by now. Like maybe the backflip launch that Kuza does in the anime is actually a re that's ridiculous. No, no one's doing a backflip, that's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, the great thing about this tournament, and most other tournaments, is that you get to bring in a few Beyblades and even switch parts between matches. That means if we notice some team with a crazy cool combo, but before the match, I can try and pick a Beyblade that is built to combat it and counter it. Or I can just steal their combo altogether because I'm evil like that. So using the parts I've collected, I had to form a dream team. A good mixture of Beyblades for any scenario, and luckily I am a Beyblade YouTuber who spends all their money on toys, so I have a lot to choose from. With all that into consideration, I packed 10 of the strongest Dynamite Beyblades, got my Dynamite Launcher, cleared my mind, and drove all the way to Baltimore, Maryland to compete in this tournament. So the place is an hour away, and I need to be there in 40 minutes. <laughs> But you know what, we'll figure it out. I was feeling pretty good, but when I arrived at the tournament, I realized that I might have forgot something. Hello, I'm here for the Beyblade tournament. Do you have a partner? I just sort of maybe forgot to bring a teammate. <laughs> I'm so stupid to a 2v2 Beyblade tournament. I forgot to bring a flippin' teammate. Oh my god, I was so dumb. But luckily, despite the short amount of time I had to search, I managed to find a teammate. This little guy named William. And honestly, he was pretty cool and he knew a lot about Beyblades. I think the hardest long she saw the tournament was the... The eye crack of Bonnie Lodge. The what? The eye oh, the one where he like does a backflip or like a yeah. twist and launches? You yeah. wanna try that launch today? With your I go Beyblade with the kill lead? No. <laughs> so going into the tournament, I was feeling pretty good. I was really confident. I mean, I had strong Beyblades and a little Beyblade genius on my team. There was nothing stopping us. So at last, the tournament organizers rounded us all together and named off all the teams. I let my man William decide our team name, and he went with the name Spryzen. And at that moment, the best team in all of Beyblade history was created. I'm sorry, Jake, but you're just not as cool as William. Anyway, it was finally time to start this 2v2 Beyblade tournament. The tournament was first to two points in a round robin tournament, meaning we were going to face off against every team once, and the team with the highest win-loss record would move on to the finals. So going into round one, we knew we had to start off strong and establish a bit of dominance to the other teams. All right, William, do you think we're going to uh, win the first round? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to destroy them? Yeah. All right, let's destroy them. Oh, two win nights. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my So for the first round, we went up against a team called Team Jump Shot, and I went with this combo, the sweatiest combo I could make. Wind, Hello Kitty, Overbearing Drift. 
I was not playing around guys. This combo was absolutely insane and to make it even scarier, I drew angry eyebrows on Hello Kitty because, well honestly because I thought it was funny. <laughs> anyway, William decided to go with stock Zest Achilles, which in my opinion is an alright combo, but it's not the most competitive. I tried to get him to use a different combo, but he was very adamant on using Zest Achilles. I mean, if the man wants Zest Achilles, the man's gonna get Zest Achilles. So we gave the Beyblades to the judge to inspect, and it was time to get the battle started. We launched our four Beyblades into the stadium simultaneously, and the Beyblades, bro, they went absolutely ham, hitting each other relentlessly. Now, although the match seems pretty even right now, it really wasn't. Our opponent's Beyblades were Super Belial and Vanish Spriggan, two Beyblades with rubber on their layer. They were just gonna steal our spin and win the battle with their free spinning drivers. And that is exactly what they did. In the last moments, my Hello Kitty combo fell, but somehow, William and Achilles pulled through and outspun both rubber Beyblades. I honestly have no idea how he was able to outspin two rubber Beyblades with free spinning drivers, but he did with the stock zest Achilles. It saved us, and it gave us the confidence that we needed. So going into the second battle, we were easily able to defeat our opponents, making our record one win and zero losses. Now, although Zest Achilles served us well, William wanted to go with a different Beyblade combo for the next round. Spriggan Illegal Extend Plus. Kind of a sick Beyblade combo. I decided to go with the same Hello Kitty combo, mainly because I just like the eyebrows. And for round two, our opponents were Team PT. And their combos were interesting to say the least. One member showed up with a combination of Cyclone Ragnarok and Ultimate Valkyrie, an iconic duo, but the other team member showed up with a Hasbro Rise Beyblade, notoriously probably the worst performing Beyblade series there is. And actually, I kind of respect it. It takes true skill to win with that Beyblade combo, but nevertheless, going into the battle, I thought we had it. However, our opponents were a couple steps ahead of us. When we launched our Beyblades into the stadium, their Valkyrie Beyblade went straight towards my Hello Kitty combo, knocking it out. Then his teammate launched his Rise Beyblade sideways, preventing Valkyrie from also getting knocked out of the stadium. It was an insane play. However, a few seconds later, it jumped out anyway, and it was a battle between Spriggan and the Rise Beyblade. The Rise Beyblade fought hard, but it was no match for Spriggan. So the score was 1-0, and we only needed one more point to win. We started the next round, and immediately the MVP Spriggan was knocked out by Cyclone Valkyrie. But as long as Hello Kitty didn't get hit out of the stadium, the game was basically ours. And with the power of the Angry Kitty, we took the second match. Now with a score of 2 wins and 0 losses, our chances of making it to finals was pretty high, but our next opponent would give us the hardest battle yet. You think you can beat William with Spryzen? Yeah, I feel like I can honestly. Oh, William, how do you feel about that? Team Trash Can. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, it's not stupid, it's kind of a funny name. Anyway, we started our battle and launched our Beyblades into the stadium. Although their name was ridiculous, their Beyblades were the real deal. Two of the strongest Beyblade combos you can make. Perfect Belial Overbearing Drift and Vanish Bahamu Illegal Bearing Dash. It was not looking good. But somehow, in the first round, Hello Kitty defied gravity and surprisingly took the first match. The second match, however, was not so easy. This time, the Angry Kitty wasn't enough, and their Bearing Driver Beyblades outspun us, making the score 1-1. One to one. The winner of the next battle would win the round. We needed to keep our win streak alive, and it all came down to my Hello Kitty Beyblade combo and their Divine Belial. And in the end... No! Divine Belial won, and we got our first loss. The loss sucked, but at the end of the day, it was alright. We could still make it to finals if we win the next two rounds, so the day wasn't over. For round 4, we went up against Team IDK Bladers, and we needed to win. 
They were using two Fafnir Beyblades, and it was going to be a spin-stealing nightmare. However, this time, William the Beyblade Genius stepped up his game and brought one of the most powerful Beyblade combos you can make. World Longinus. With World Longinus, our opponents and their Fafnir Beyblades didn't stand a chance. We easily defeated them in match 1, and then got another decisive victory in match 2, making our score 3 wins and 1 loss. Finally, it all came down to this last round, round 5. If we won this round, we would make it to finals, but if we lost, we were out of the tournament. The stakes were extremely high, we needed to win. However, our opponents for round 5 was Team Legendary Bladers, who had a score of 4 wins and 0 losses. They were undefeated, and I knew this was going to be a hard battle. Their Beyblades were Wind Knight Karma Bearing Dash and Perfect Belial Illegal Bearing Drift. To counter this, William decided to go with Stock Roar Bahamut. I tried to talk him out of it, but he was persistent. I guess he knew something I didn't, and to be fair, he is the Beyblade genius who was able to win the first round with Stock Zest Achilles, so I trusted him. We sat at the stadium and got our Beyblades ready. On the judges count, we all launched our Beyblades, Final but round. William launched a little too hard Fine. and Bahamut went flying out of the stadium. It now became a 2 versus 1, and as strong as the Hello Kitty Beyblade was, it stood no chance against two extremely powerful Beyblade combos. So in the end, we lost the first battle. However, it still wasn't over. If we won the next two battles, we would win the round. So we started the second match, and this time we were able to launch both our Beyblades into the stadium. It was an intense close battle, the kitty was able to take out the red Beyblade, but ended up losing all of its spin shortly after. It came down to a battle between Bahamut with Moment and Belial with Bearing Drift. At any other battle, Bearing Drift would outspin Bahamut no problem, but somehow, by some miracle, Bahamut was able to pull off the victory with the Moment Driver, making the score 1-1. One to one. It all came down to the third battle. If we beat them, we moved on to the finals, but if we lost, it was all over for us. So we got our Beyblades ready, launched our set, and then launched our Beyblades as hard as we could. All four Beyblades spun in the stadium at high speeds. My heart was pumping, my opponent's heart was pumping, and I know that William's heart was pumping hard. He really wanted to move on to the finals, and in the end, at this extremely climactic moment, all Beyblades stopped almost simultaneously. We had no idea who won, and it was up to the judges to decide. It was between my kitty Beyblade and his Belial. The judges checked the footage carefully, and... Sadly, they decided that Belial outspun Hello Kitty. So the winner of that round was Legendary Bladers, and we were eliminated from the tournament. Honestly, in my opinion, I think the judge messed up. I mean, look at the footage. Hello Kitty clearly spun a little longer than Belial, but at the end of the day, it was the judge's call, and it's their decision to make. After our battle, Legendary Bladers made it to the finals and were able to actually win the whole tournament. And although we didn't make it as far as we wanted, it was still a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to trying out some more tournaments in the future. Thank you guys for watching, if you want to see more tournament documentary style videos like this, leave a like and a comment, and maybe I'll make some more, we'll see. Anyway, see you guys later, have a nice day, left burst out.